So you did a little bit of well, a little bit what's happening. Maybe, I'm sure it was unintentionally, but the um, kind of conflating two different issues of one being Kyrie and one being Kanye. So Kyrie didn't really talk about the the other um, or identify the the group that is the you know problematic group of the group in power that you're referring to. Um, but but Kanye did. So what you said was a little bit more of what his point was. But I want you to go a little bit more into detail as far as what do you mean? Because I, I do understand what you're saying um, as far as there being a difference between the regular commandment trying to fulfill, um, you know, everyday um, person and the power structure that does have a dark side to it. Um, and those are the, that was the strong reaction that Kanye you know, received from that, uh, amongst other things. And I don't want to, you know, get far too off and go into Kanye because there's a lot of different issues going on with there with mental health and everything else going on. But but as far as the separation of the two, I want to go a little bit details of that, if you could, because a lot of people don't understand that, um, that distinction. Whew, two things. Um, one is that I just want to make it known today in America, the Jewish people are losing more Jews to assimilation than they did in that died in the Holocaust. Today in America, the Jewish people are losing more Jews to assimilation than they did in that died in the Holocaust. So that means more Jews are marrying out of Judaism, forgetting that they're even Jews a generation or two later than the six million that perished in the Holocaust. So that means more Jews are marrying out of Judaism, forgetting, forgetting, forgetting that they're even Jews a generation or two later than the six million that perished in the Holocaust. So, so, so that means to say that there's two types of Jews out there today, really. And, you know, because I have love for all the types of Jews, they're, they're my people. Um, but there's two types of Jews. There's Jews who are keeping commandments and passing them on to their children and making sure their children will pass them on to their children that we've been doing for thousands of years. And then there's unaffiliated, totally secular ones who don't know, you know, the Hebrew alphabet, don't know who Moses's children's name were, all that. And they raise their kids to, you know, go to public school, go to college, and their kids come home with non-Jewish spouses and end up having Christmas trees in their house and, and have their kids who, you know, maybe will remember a, a Yom Kippur and their kids forget about it. They're not even going to be Jewish. This is what's happening nowadays. So it seems to be that all this Jewish energy in Hollywood and this elite and ruling Hollywood and this elite and ruling Hollywood and this elite and ruling. These people have allegiance to something else besides the Torah. This is not a Torah backed bound uh, group of humans. These people have allegiance to something else. Something else besides the Torah. This is not a Torah backed bound uh, group of humans. Yeah, they may give a lot of charity to Israel and visit Israel and love it. These aren't individuals who are necessarily raising children in the tribe in the mindset that you are a Jew. They're, uh, they have allegiance to something else that's much could be much, you know, darker fraternity wise, that has rituals and, and all these type of things that, you know, Kanye was talking about. They're, uh, they have allegiance to something else that's much, could be much, you know, darker, 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 fraternity wise, fraternity wise, that has rituals and, and all these type of things that, you know, Kanye was talking about. And that mm -hmm. shouldn't be uh, confused with the Jewish people's pursuit for a, a homeland and a redemption and an in-gathering for the tribe. So they're two separate things. 